let's take a look at how you can use Maple to perform matrix eliminations. So imagine we want to go and reduce to row echelon form the following two matrices. The 3x3 three three matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and this larger matrix with four rows and five columns. So the first thing we need to do is enter these matrices in. So let's enter the first matrix in. Uh, the standard form is to enter it in by columns using these brackets. So the first column is 1, 4, 7. Then the second column is 2, 5, 8. And then the third column is 3, 6, 9. And so there's that matrix right there. Now, you might remember that a common technique in Maples, if you're trying to figure out what to do with something, right click on the output and look at the context menu that you get. And you should usually find your option in here. More often than not, it's there. For matrices, if we go down to solvers and forms, we're looking for a row echelon form. I get a submenu that has row echelon forms, and when I click on that, I get a further submenu that says elimination only, fraction free elimination, or reduced. If I click on elimination only, then I see that I'm using linear algebra and I'm doing Gaussian elimination on this matrix. And what I find is I find a row echelon form of this matrix, one, two, three, uh, 0, minus 3, 6, and 0, 0, 0. And this is in row echelon form because the first pivot is here. The second pivot appears to the right, and there are no pivots in that last row. You might remember, though, that you can usually clean up a row echelon form. For example, I could divide this second row through by a negative 3 to get a 1, 2, and clean out some of the zeros on tops of the pivots as well. In practice, it's always best to reduce that echelon form. Doing it by hand can be sort of a pain, but with Maple, it's just another mouse click. Right click, go down to solvers and forms, go down to row echelon form, but instead of elimination only, go down to reduced. If I click on that, then I get the reduced row echelon form of this matrix. And you notice that that second row is now 1, 2. They divided out that negative 3 from here. And that's it. You want to get a hold of a row echelon form, right click and you can select either Gaussian elimination or reduced row echelon form, or you can do the fraction free version. My advice is to always go with reduced row echelon form because that makes the algebra that corresponds with these that much simpler. So let's take a look at that second matrix. Now entering in this matrix with uh, five, uh, four rows and five columns apiece, doing it by hand might be a little bit tedious, but I can go over to this matrix tab here and have the matrix builder help me. I want four rows and five columns, so I type in insert matrix, and now I can enter it in by rows again. One tab, four tab, oops, one tab, four tab, nine tab, minus eight tab, zero, and there's the first row. Six, seven, minus four, ten, five is the next row. Seven, negative six, one, zero, zero is the last row, and finally one, minus one, six, eight, one. There's the final row. So when I enter that, Here's the matrix. I can compare to make sure I entered it correctly. Let's select it, right click, go down to solvers and forms, row echelon form, reduced row echelon form. And here's what it is in its reduced version. It's got some pretty nasty fractions in it, so I'm glad I didn't have to do this by hand. And that's the very basics of matrix elimination.